थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट रिप्रोडक्शन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ बुक्स एंड अदर थिंग्स इज वन ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉडर्न एज इट सम वन रोट अ बुक इन एशियन टाइम्स द राइटर कुड हैव ओनली वन कॉपी ऑफ द हैंड रिटर्न मैनुस्क्रिप्ट इफ मोर कॉपीज वर रिक्वायर्ड द होल थिंग हैड टू बी री रिटर्न इन हैंड बाय अ स्क्राइब विच वॉज एन एक्सपेंसिव एंड एंड आर्डर्स जॉब टूडे ऑन द अदर हैड इफ वी वॉन्ट रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ बुक or a given event we have at our disposal not only the printing press but a few other scientific devices multiplication of things in the present age appears to be a mere child's play in earlier days if a good drama was staged and it happened to gain popularity only those could benefit from it who were physically present when that play was staged that is because the actors could not manage to be at more than one place at a time even if a play was restaged no one could guarantee that it would be rendered with the same skill and have the same effect on the audience as the original play staged earlier all that has changed today now we can have a play staged simultaneously at several places we can have it cinematographed and in this way also reproduce the original voice of every actor this is what is generally known as a film cinema is a very powerful medium for projecting ideas it can create excellent effect on the audience if it has well groomed actors nice dialogues and conveys a good moral but it is equally potential in its destructive powers if the characters are immoral so that their life as portrayed in films tends to degrade rather than rise society the capacity of the drama to do good or evil is limited in the sense that it can influence only those who see it enacted at one place at a time but the capacity of the film is unlimited because of its reproductions and the large number of people who can see it any number of times at any number of places it is therefore very necessary to be cautious in the production and use of films in order to ensure that they are utilized for the good of society broadly speaking cinema may be said to have three main objectives namely education recreation and propaganda and these have utmost importance after all books can give only a part of the knowledge which is desirable for a man to acquire far more than books it is the experience the contacts and the environment which go to constitute an individual's knowledge 
cinema can be a great help in acquiring knowledge from all these different sources because it can extend to incredible limits the field of our visual and auditory experience it is a truism that things which we see with our own eyes influence us far more than things which we hear from others mouths things which we see on the screen may not be leaving as a lasting an impression on us as things which we see in our actual life but nevertheless scenes of the screen are more effective than descriptions read in print or hear through ears as for recreation it is also of many kinds there is recreation which besides being entertaining is also educative there can also be something which is recreative but morally injurious i cannot claim to have seen many films actually i have not had many occasions to see them but i am told by many a friend that quite a number of our films belong to the latter category and that far from being a genuine source of recreation or education they only stimulate senseness such films have a particularly bad effect on younger minds maybe that such films are more popular than others it is also possible that such films may be more paying it might be said by some that films are produced on a commercial basis and therefore the producers have to produce only what is in demand it may also be said that the principal function of the cinema is to provide entertainment in which case producers have to be guided by popular taste all these good points might be adduced for the sake of argument but i would like to point out to those connected with our cinema industry that if they want to render real service to the public and i do believe it should be their ideal all these arguments should be of little consequence to them at any rate these are secondary considerations the primary consideration must be service of the people no service can be real unless it safeguards the genuine interest of those who are sought to be served i would request the film producer to think over this and ask themselves as to what their real aim is the aim has to be service of the people which is not incompatible with commercial success but commercial success without service is hardly worth anything